Welcome to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster with John Kramer. It seems that all the things that you've been working with in terms of, you know, you observing what's going on and, and following it and so on, is that it's really taking you to a place of, in one sense, not knowing. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. So, so insightful what you just said. It's so great what you just said. I mean, it actually brings, oh, it brings tears to my eyes. Like, that moves me. Um, since it's very, very interesting. So what we call not knowing is actually a statement from the mind. So we are so en enveloped in the mind and identify ourselves with it. Like that's what we are, so to speak, the experience that it creates is that um, this knowledge that opens up when when you ask yourself these kind of questions, or as to say, when you, in the ability to discern what is actually not true, that you have been calling a particular way, there is there that what arises is an understanding that is that is beyond the given, beyond what we call knowledge. That most of it, it actually is just hearsay, and so not knowing acknowledges the limitations of the mind. Basically, you have to a certain degree given up an attachment or an immediate assumption that what the mind tells you, like what arises as the thinking, that that is true. We, we live our life as if what comes up in our consciousness, that that's true most of the time, because the thoughts are like the furniture in the room. We, we, because it's so common, we wake up with it in the morning, we take it for that is part of our life, but it's not. It's, it's actually very odd that things come up in our consciousness that we have no control over and then we take it for reality, we act on it. So when you stop doing that and what I say, what, and that is I think the, the contribution or what I call the awareness method is to have the courage which is counterintuitive to allow for the totality of what arises in your consciousness, no matter what the content is, and your ability to, to be with that, then brings you in a, in a place of discernment. You can then actually, actually look at it like, what is that all about? It drives me here, it drives me there, it talks about the future, and then it's like, oh, the future, it tells me this, but what if I allow for that thought? And then actually to realize that I'm not falling apart when I have the full experience of that thought that tells me that the world will, my world will blow up when this or that will happen and to come to realize that was just a thought. And so that kind of breaks a spell of all of that. It's like, oh, wait a moment. This is, wow. What have I been listening to all my life, actually? And so it is it becomes funny then to even to speak about oh when i've got the courage to not know i mean there is an arrogance there even in that observation that is to say it's still giving credit to the mind as if it knew <laughs> so not knowing of course, as a place of liberation of the mind, is actually an acknowledgement that what the mind tells you is very limited. It comes from, from, from a set of options, or it's predetermined. It, it gives you the same because the underlying assumption, there is an underlying assumption, which is the duality of experience. And it, always comes back to that. It's always giving you a sense of what you are, of, well, let's say, of who you are, which is not 
what you are. A sense of what you are is not what you are. So, and then it lets you believe that the sense of what you are is what you are. And so, so to speak to your question, yeah, it, it's, I'm so fascinated by what you said because not knowing is still in, it's still coming from this place of the mind, not knowing. While in fact what is happening is a knowing. And the moment I start qualifying knowing, the moment that I stop qualifying knowing as not knowing, I know that I'm free of the mind, so to speak. <laughs> That's a bit of a play, so I guess I'm a bit cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Talking Diaries podcast featuring Dr. Louis Coster. For more information, check out louiscoster.com forward slash Talking Diaries and subscribe to the Talking Diaries YouTube channel. Also, check out louiscoster.com forward slash quiz and take the free quiz to discover more about yourself.